YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I want to tell you a few little known secrets around the herbal world or something that your grandparents might have known because they might have used it back in their day. Now, this is not a very extreme condition, um, but it is known to cause a lot of pain. Ear infections, whether it be inner, outer, middle, whatever, they cause pain. Now, if you're someone like myself who the wind can gently blow on your ear and you get an infection, then you have to have something on hand that's going to relieve some of the pain and help as well uh, as clearing up the infection. Now, onions are amazing for this. Now, how are they amazing? Well, a little known fact that in the days when people were getting sick from the flu or the viruses were going around, there was this one family um, that was not getting sick back when doctors made house calls. Okay, so the doctor would went to this one house and the family was all well when everyone else was just really sick. And um, he asked the mother, how, how is everything okay here? What are you guys doing? And she simply said, I take an onion, I cut it up, and I stick it in each room. So basically, she just chopped an onion in half and left it just open. And people say, oh, God, that must have stunk. Well, that ward off the bacteria. And what it does is it sucks like a potato will. Um, it sucks everything into it. And so just one in each room of her home kept infection down in her family or didn't get sick at all. Now, we know that garlic is a natural antibiotic. Now, I've spoken about this, and I can continue to speak about this. If you're an herbalist, I think you just absolutely must love garlic because there are so many uses for it. Um, but this is on onions. Now, you can use both of these, but onions is easier to, to deal with. So what you're going to do if you have an ear infection um, and you don't want to go to the doctor or you don't want to go and spend the money on antibiotics and you want to try something at home first, this is a good way to do it. You want to chop the onion in half, take a small bowl, and juice it. Basically, you're going to squeeze this onion as much as you can get out of the juice. Now, different onions have different amounts of juice. I've discovered um, the more ripe it is, obviously, the more juice you're going to get from it. Now, if you need help, you can use a garlic press. Now, like I said, garlic is much more potent, but um, you can just take a little bit of the onion, stick it in between here, and squeeze it. And what it's going to do is it's just going to drip the juice off. And um, if you get any chunks in there, just take that out. You don't want the chunks in your ear. Okay, so what you do at that point is you can either stick the juice directly into your ear, the affected ear, or you can stick the juice into some warm olive oil, both of which are great for the ear and um, actually help to break up um, built up wax and anything, dust and debris. I know that sounds crazy, but some people do have a lot of crud in their ear that they didn't know was in there. Um, same thing. Uh, do this with an onion. Do this with garlic. It's much harder with garlic because uh, you're going to get chunks, whereas this, uh, actually, you just squeeze it and the juice just kind of flows. And then you want to take that, stick it in your ear, and lay on the side that's not affected and let it just drain into the ear. Now the reason why this works is because it's antibacterial and it's an antibiotic when it is stuck on the affected area. Basically, uh, topically, you have an infection on your hand, you take it, you stick it directly on the infection, it goes to work. Um, and that's the best thing for an ear infection, guys. You want to try to uh, prevent ear infections and a lot of people will take onion juice or olive oil or something and rub it on the inside of their ear before they go swim in or something like that because we all know swimmer's ear is common. But for myself, in the wintertime, I get a lot of ear infections just because, like I said, the wind can blow on my ear wrong. I can get out of the shower, have wet ears, wet hair, uh, walk by my fan, and boom. I'm that sensitive. I had a uh, tonsillectomy when I was five, and so it's caused me problems since. But this is my go-to, and I'm fine the next day. And so you want to catch something before it gets too bad. Um, of course, if you have any problems, always go to your doctor. But this is a good remedy for after the crap hits the fan and you might not have a doctor you can go to. So I hope this is useful to you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, have a blessed day and until next time.